Effie. Hey. Jeffrey. Hey, did you get paid for this before we started doing this public service announcement? Some, no, some public service announcement. We ain't announcing nothing. We're not announcing Let's nothing. Just, I'm going to stop doing these things. It's always something political. Exactly. And, I, and, 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 and we may not even get paid. Oh. We was, I don't think we were supposed to take our zippers off. I don't think so. Oh. Mine broke. No. Mine broke. Yeah, oh, oh, I did. I was starting to blame you, Effie, but I guess I did that to you. Now we're going to have to find some other way to pay the rent. And you know you we wouldn't know good at that pizza place. We need another commercial. You kept eating that pizza up. That's why we ain't going to make no we money. Just eat he was commercial. eating all the pizzas and trying, people trying to find a pizza with big old chunks took out of it. You can't be eating. You can't be, when you work at a place, Effie, you got to... You gotta act like you're a professional. You can't be eating stuff. I know you get hungry, but you gotta wait till we get home. I can give you a box of cupcakes or something. I am a professional. Okay, but where are we going? I'm a professional. Where are we gonna work at? Where are we gonna work at now? I'm a professional. I think we should. You know what? I am a professional pop bottle finder. Uh huh. You know what? I think we better do. I think we better go into that wig shop up the street. I need to do. Because who else better to tell people what kind of fashions to wear than us? <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> I really like this, Effie. You can't do what you're really styling now. Yeah, this was yeah. pretty. I taught you pretty good. You did. Yeah. You know what? You've come a long way I since you was the incredible three year woman in the circus. It's a good thing I, I pulled you, you out like, of there. You like that bow? Yeah, yeah. It's but what are we going to do now? I don't know. Hey, um. Have you got enough stuff that you picked up off the streets? Um, I think we could do that uh, that antique road thing. Oh, yeah, the yeah. antique road show? Yeah. You think we could get on there? Okay. I mean, it's a way for us to, to um, you know, to, to expose ourselves to the public, get more film footage, and possibly make more money. But you probably do that. What do you have besides that old rusty can opener? You got anything really good? Oh, I got so many things. Something for your head. What you got for my head? I already I got, got a wig. I got, I got a fashion wig. I got some Once I start selling these, we're probably going to be rolling the money, but I got to wait till I get another problem. I got some I'm earrings I made. I look good today. I got some earrings I, I made. I look good today. You know what? My wig, my wig strap. I don't think, this is the first time you ain't messed with my wig, you know, so I actually look good. Usually get up in my clothes and try to mess up my wig, turn them up like a little girl, get mad, cutting things up like you do your doll head, pulling your doll heads off. You know, that stuff might work for an incredible three-year-old girl circus, but it ain't going to work for me. It's not very nice. I don't do those things. You have a vivid imagination. And I got no vivid imagination, girl. People. I got pictures. You don't think and I... And you make it all those I got people. pictures. I take pictures of everything you do. Because I know you're gonna deny. I know you're gonna deny. She tried to deny everything that goes on. She tried to mess things up. Tried to deny everything she does. But I got pictures. I got pictures to show her. I can put up a whole wall of pictures of stuff you messed up. You know you can't do this. Go ahead. Put them on. No, girl, you need to put them on if you can find them. Can't even do dishes without cracking up the dishes, banging around stuff. People think. He's got nothing he can show. He's all keep tough. looking at me like that. Keep looking at me. He's keep looking at me like like you know what you're talking about. You're all talk. I'm gonna keep covering for you. I'm gonna put your zipper back on. You know I still know where them hippies is at. They gotta have them come back in that van and haul you off somewhere. You keep messing with me. Brad, I'm gonna have to go down to the strip and get a job in one of them uh, uh, those little joints, uh, tattoo joints or something like that. You better not. I mean, I don't know. How, I, I don't, don't know how to do it or nothing, but like, a, you better couldn't you die. just like if you got like a Brandon iron or something from some cowboy? Couldn't you like you tattoo better, people that way? You can get sick doing that. That's what they tell me. That's probably how you got sick. <laughs> no, that's probably, I mean, that's probably what she is right now. I don't have any. I don't want to get sick. You don't have any what? Tattoos. Maybe you don't have no brand and iron yet. No. I want to go go into the brand. When I get my brand and iron, I want to start tattooing people that way. Okay. What you playing with your wrist for? 
You're always trying to show that off somehow. He can't. You know, you're always working on that thing. You just can't wait for somebody to see it. Why don't you just go show it? Go ahead and show them. You know, you can't wait. She always playing with that thing like she got like $500,000 in, invested in that little band. What just happened? Something fell off of me. You lost your zipper. Oh, yeah. I kept buying public service announcements. You know what? We're going to have to find better ways you, to make some money. You, you didn't get that money up front. No, but you were supposed to get it, I thought. Me? Yeah. You were the one all trying to sweet talk him like a little girl, thinking you can pull over anything you want to. These old well, geezers trying to charm him with your clown wig self. <laughs> you don't like my clown wig? Effie, like honey, you know, you know, I try to make you feel good, but somebody got to tell you the truth sooner or later. I mean, I know you try to style fashion like I do, but... Oh, you just missed your perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. What is that? You know, you look like a Minnie Mouse or something. That's what you look like. You look like Minnie Mouse. That's what you've been looking like for the last six months, running around you're trying to look like... Nice. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? Don't tell me you're, that ain't Minnie Mouse. You're not very nice. <sighs> I'm as nice as you as anybody's going to be. You know when you start goofy, I know that's when you're hungry. Yeah. I'm about to go get you some tacos. Yeah. Just so you get some hot sauce running down your face, down your neck. You look like you've been murdered somewhere. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I gotta watch you every minute. Wouldn't be a bad idea at all. <laughs> I think we need to go. We need to we need to go to audition for Alice in Wonderland again, so you can try to crawl through that hole. You know, you try to open up that door. You get fit as a girl. You weigh 300 pounds. You get fit through that little door. You gotta wise up. I can't, you know, that I can't be. not nice. I, I can't be watching you every minute. You think you're gonna go down some rabbit hole into some adventure I land do like not you are? Know. Weigh 300 pounds. You gotta get out of the fantasy land. You ain't gonna find no rabbits and no uh you uh, uh should talk. doorknob person or whatever, the head doorknob or whatever. You ought to, you gotta, you gotta come out of that fantasy land and live in the real world. We gotta, we gotta make money. <laughs> get a job. Yes, get a job. Yeah. Get a job. Show your wristband once I, more. I, I, wanted, think she ain't got, she got I still sale. want us to be shirt. travel guides. Look at this shirt. Mm. I still think we should go to Hawaii. You know, I, I have to, I'm going to have to go back in the beach and have some, do some documentaries on you me if you want to make any money. You anyway. What are you trying to say? You're a little peaking. You don't want to look like you're going to scrub down with some Clorox. You need he, to quit. I, I peak a lot, a but he looks peaking. You don't want to look like you must go down with some Clorox. You need to stop. You need to idea I want you on the beach with your legs showing people having to put on their sunglasses real quick before they go blind, get blinded. I see some people staggering around on the beach the last time you was out there. They couldn't see where they were at. Is that light shining off your legs? <laughs> it's you know, probably true. You know, I seen that one lady trip over that log. I was yeah, so my, embarrassed for her. My legs don't see too much I was daylight. so embarrassed for her. You know, she tried to crawl away so nobody would see her. <laughs> You gotta hide them legs. You gotta you don't want put on some of that fake head lotion or something. You don't want to see his legs either. When you see my legs, you ain't see my legs. <laughs> you need to put on some fake head lotion or something. <laughs> yeah, laugh. Why don't you put on some lipstick on too? Your lips all look so. Mm. Ooh. You need to put some lipstick on or something. Ooh. You need to spruce you yourself up. Why are you gonna dress like this? With all this kind this of stuff and then not even put on a lipstick? You need this, to put on some mascara or something, some eyeliner. You know what good for you? You need me to teach you how to do it, don't you? This was for the commercial. Why'd you get that vanity mirror if you don't even know how to put some makeup on? Right? Quit hating on me, wig. I see the way you're looking at it. Mm. Ooh, baby. What? Once I get on the beach, on the beach, you love they gonna do some my fashion shoes. And that's saying something. Mm -hmm. You know, I might let you sneak up in the background next time they want them fashion shoes to me on the beach. Act like you're building one of your little three-year-old girl sandcastles so you can get in a little bit of the action. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? I just said you could. What are you going to do about it? I just said you could, Laverne. Quit, quit, quit acting like that. You ain't, you ain't Italian. Y'all are always trying to be something <clears throat> French or trying to pretend you Spanish or something. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, me trying to be French, yeah. Mm -hmm. Say something in French. <laughs> we mean most you What's that mean? Yes, yes. We, we, monsieur. Is that like Minnie Mouse or something? <laughs> Minnie, Minnie Mouse. Minnie, Minsure. <laughs> Minsure Mouse. It means yes, yes, mister. I got tired of messing with you. You know, I try to teach you stuff, but I got to get out. Uh, if I'm going to make any money, I'm going to get on the beach or the beach. 
and uh, for my <laughs> next documentary. And otherwise, you're going to have to look in the paper or something. Put you on a little bit of makeup. Put you on some makeup, girl. You're gonna dress like a freak, like a clown. You know, you ain't that circus no more. People ain't, people, you know, you think people's gonna buy you a three year old girl stuff just because you talk about the life accent? I mean, <laughs> look at the way you talk, like a three year old girl. 50, 50 something year old woman trying to be a three year old girl. Ain't people gonna buy that no more. I can't help him. I didn't him. buy that no more. You ain't got me fooled. I can't outweigh him. He'll eventually burn out. Outweigh me? Okay, that's true. You it done broke the last few scales we had. I ain't paying no more for no scales. And he won't have anything left I ain't paying no more for no more scales unless you get in one of those things where they wear the junk parts in the junkyard. Uh, you're going to have to start weighing air again. And I ain't buying no more box of cupcakes for you if you can't appreciate how, how I do for you. I can't keep you up on Twinkies on my life. You know Twinkies in public, that cream smearing all over your face. You embarrass me to death half the time. Eating them Twinkies on the beach on the beach. I'm still waiting. He'll eventually burn out. Well, we're going to have to say goodbye, folks. You know, we love you so much. See, oh, we, i got to say that we see, really appreciate you checking in on us. he always wants to say goodbye as soon as he starts losing an argument. Ain't nobody losing an argument. A discussion. Girl, you need to be on a debate team. That's like all you want to do is argue <laughs> all the time. Well, anyway, i gotta get, I got to get out onto the beach, the beach for my fashion shoot. Uh, I don't know what I think I'm going to do, but I have to look, out, I have to look in on her later because... Um, I mean, if you want, like I said, you can get build a can, uh, can, a can totally castle, lost. a sand castle behind me, so you You'd can get in the picture totally a little bit. You'd be totally lost without me taking care of you. Oh, that's sweet, honey. But anyway, I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. We love you. We love you. We love you so much. Tell me you love me, Matthew. I love you. Tell me you love me. Show me your little bracelet again, so you no, can feel good about I don't yourself, have so you to. can fall asleep. Right oh yeah, that's all right. All right, we'll see you later. We love you. We love you. Love. Peace, love. Bye, everybody. Peace, love. Understand? We love you so much. Please come back. I see us again. We love you so much.